Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we are going to be showing you how to make sweet and spicy soy braised short ribs. Cue the music. Alright, well thanks a lot for joining. If this is your first time being here, please do me a favor, head down, hit that subscribe button, and then hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every time I upload new content. Alright, you clicked on this video to have me show you how to make sweet and spicy soy braised short ribs. Let's head down here and see what our ingredients are for this today. We got three quarters of a cup of beef broth, a third cup of soy sauce, one Asian pear, that I've cut up one bunch of green onions that we've sliced. We're going to divide those up. We got two tablespoons of honey, two tablespoons of gogochang sauce, two tablespoons of sesame oil, two tablespoons of grated fresh ginger, one tablespoon of grated fresh garlic, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a pound and a half of English cut beef ribs. All right, let's start doing this. All right, as we always do, make sure you got a bowl big enough for all your ingredients. I am going to start adding everything in here. We've got the beef broth. Got our soy sauce. Everything is down in the description box. The whole recipe is down there for you to follow along with. We're going to add our gogachang sauce, our honey, fresh garlic, fresh ginger, the sesame oil. I'm going to add half of these onions. We're going to save those for later to make it look pretty. We've got our salt in there. I got some Himalayan sea salt that I just used up there. And then I got our pears. Our recipe did say to grate the pears, but unfortunately I left my, my grater um, tool at, at, at work so I just minced them up you're gonna see or diced them up you're gonna see what we're gonna do we're gonna throw this in the crock pot for about six hours so the flavor will still be in there it's just a different way of of, uh, of coaxing the flavor out of the pears so we got this all mixed up really well we'll set that aside and we've got our, our, our ribs here we've got the English cut, what they basically have done is they cut between the bones, whereas flank and cut, they cut across the bones to give you a, a short rib. These are short ribs too. Plenty of meat on there. Doesn't look like they really took that connective tissue off, but it is right on the bone. So I'm just going to lay these out. Well, well, we'll try to get some meat off that one. There's some two nice looking ones in there. And I'm just going to hit it with a little salt and pepper. All right, let's head over to the crock pot. Okay, got our slow cooker, got it plugged in, got it on high. I'm gonna go high two hours, slow and low for another um, three after that. So what you want is you wanna take your sauce that you've made, and you can do this a number of ways. You can save this much of it off to the side. You can pour all of it in except for about this much, um, or you can take it right out of this when it's done cooking and use it for what we're going to do later in the show I'll show you but just remind that after it's cooking there's going to be a lot of fat in the sauce and it won't really be really good for what we want to do with it after we're done cooking these ribs we're going to actually throw them in the broiler and crisp them up with some of the sauce but you don't want to have all that fat in there so I'm basically going to take and just pour it all in except for about that much about a cup then you just take your ribs put them in meat side down right in that sauce cover it up you let that cook for six hours on high or four hours on low I am going to blast mine on high for a little bit and turn them down just to let them go after that. But we will rejoin you when the time is up. All right, it has been five hours. I've got the ribs right here. They are done. I'm going to put the camera back on the tripod 
and we will start doing the next step. So I've got a piece of foil on a nice sheet pan here. We're just going to take the ribs out, put them meat side up. And like I said in the earlier part of this video that you can use the sauce that's in the crock pot but it is just saturated with so much fat from these ribs that's why we saved off some of this sauce from the earlier when we made it and we're just going to throw this right on here onto the meat side of it I'm going to throw these into the oven that I've had preheated at 450. We're just going to kind of broil this until this gets a little crispy on top. Well, there it is. You can see the color has changed on the uh, pears as they broke down a little bit in that heat. The meat looks pretty good. It smells fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and plate this up, make it look pretty. We're going to take some awesome photos of it for social media. Lay those pictures into the timeline with some really groovy music. And then we're going to come back and we are going to taste this. Don't go away. Played it, took pictures, laid in the music. Hope you enjoyed that. Now we're going to give it a taste. See how easily that just falls apart. And that meat. There's that taste. Oh, my goodness. Mm. A lot going on there. First of all, beef is very, very tender, very moist. Um, you hit that soy, taste that sugar in there, the ginger. That that pear is just it's a very unique flavor, but I can taste it in there. It's got a hint of a smokiness to it. I don't know where that's coming from. But boy, this is really, really good. I got it on the rice. A little bite there with a piece of the pear too. That pear gives a little crunch along with the smoothness and butteriness of that meat. Mm. I'm going to go enjoy this and make a pig out of myself. I don't want you to see this. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Like the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and then share this video and this channel with everybody you know. Thanks a lot. We will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.